सम कॉल मी नेचर अदर्स कॉल मी मदर नेचर आई हैव बीन हियर फॉर मोर देन फोर बिलियन इयर्स योर एग्जिस्टेंस ऑन दिस प्लानट इज डिपेंड्स ऑन मी योर सर्वाइवल इज टोटली डिपेंडिंग ऑन माई इको सिस्टम येस योर एग्जिस्टेंस एंड फ्यूचर डिपेंड ऑन मी वेन आई फ्लरिश यू फ्लरिश वेन आई फ्लैटर यू फ्लैटर ऑ वर्ज वेन आई एम इन ट्रेवल योर लाइफ इज इन डेंजर माई ओशंस माई सॉइल माई फ्लोइंग स्ट्रीम्स माई फॉरेस्ट माई एयर दे ऑल कैन टेक यू और लिव यू इफ दे लिव यू कैन यू बी अ लाइफ फॉर अ मिनट आई डोंट रियली नीड पीपल बट पीपल नीड मी वन वे और द अदर योर एक्शंस विल डिटरमाइन योर फेट नॉट माइन आई एम नेचर I will go on I'm prepared to evolve This is not a dream My name is Samida We are on the verge of mass extinction unlike anything human kind has ever seen Our climate is breaking down. Biodiversity and ecosystem are in crisis. At the forest we have cut down and the animals we have compelled. Taming and shaming. Dividing and ruling. What kind of future do we want to toast? Now, more than ever, we are confronted with the fragility of life and our connection to nature and our planet. Nature is showing us that humanity is on the verge of a breakdown. Over 1 million plants and species are threatened by extinction. And cause of this is us. Human population is increasing exponentially. Ever increasing and never ending human demands has put our mother earth in imminent danger. For all generations to come, we are fighting for our future. Do you know that how fragile our planet is? and how important it is to protect it knowingly or unknowingly we are bleeding our mother earth we are afraid to breathe to air because we don't know what chemicals are in it we are afraid to drink the water we are afraid to consume non organic food like all other living beings we humans are dependent on natural ecosystem services to survive we rely on nature for our energy for our food and for everything that we need we are producing and transporting more food energy and material than ever before but nature resources are limited this over exploitation of precious natural resources is main cause of biodiversity loss biodiversity loss intensified the effects of climate change climate change accelerates fire storms and floods This way the biodiversity and climate crisis has endangered our way of life. In order to keep our living conditions it is important to preserve natural ecosystems. To restore the damaged ecosystem back to normal, the United Nations has declared the theme for World Environment Day 2021 as ecosystem restoration. We celebrate this day for spreading awareness and encouraging actions to protect the environment. The host country for World Environment Day 2021 is Pakistan. United Nations has already decided to continue with this ecosystem restoration drive for this entire decade. By the way, let me ask you this. Do you know what is ecosystem? It is a coexistent community of living and non-living components interlinked by food chain, mineral chain and energy flow. Ecosystem is mainly of two types. terrestrial ecosystem which exists on ground and includes forest grassland mountains farmlands desert and tundra while aquatic ecosystem exists in water body and consists of marine and fresh water like lake and river but we humans are strange creatures of this planet in the greed of more development we have destroyed our natural ecosystem very badly and now our own existence is in danger today there is only one way to fulfill our needs we must handle our ecosystem smartly and sustainably we have to restore our ecosystem for next 10 years 
and therefore it is imperative that each one of us contribute. We have damaged our ecosystem very badly. But still, we can fix this. You can still fix this. We all together can restore our natural ecosystem again. If we act now. To survive, we need to take a step back and look around us. We need to stop many things like burning fossil fuels, cutting trees, use of plastic. This will not be enough. We need solutions to fix it. Lots of solutions are talked about. Firstly, what about a solution right in front of us to restore ecosystem? I'll let my friend Rajiv explain. There is a magic machine. It sucks carbon out of air, costs very little, builds itself, and that's called tree. A tree is the best example for a solution to restore natural climate. Mangroves, peat box, jungles, marshes, seabeds, kelp forests, swamps, coral leaves, they take carbon out of the air and lock it away. Nature is one tool we all can use to restore our ecosystem. These natural climate solutions can make a massive difference in restoring our overall ecosystem. Pretty cool, right? So let's come and understand the causes for destruction to the Earth's ecosystem and simple solutions to restore it. Forests are one of the most important ecosystems of this planet. A forest ecosystem is a place that provides a natural habitat to millions of animal and plant species. Trees, grasslands, insects, birds, animals and humans are a part of this ecosystem. The organisms of this ecosystem are interdependent on each other for their survival. Man has destroyed forests for land and resources. Our planet is currently losing over 15 billion trees each year. For various purposes, we are cutting trees. We have put forests on fire. Today, remaining forests are ruined because of cutting of trees, burning of wood, pollution, poaching, virus attack, and wildfire. Our survival is completely dependent on this ecosystem. Let me give you an example. Many carnivores such as tigers, lions, leopards, and jaguars are on the verge of extinction due to poaching. If there were no carnivores, the herbivore population would explode and they will rapidly consume large amounts of plants and cause deforestation. Thus, the food chain will be intact and oxygen will reduce. Ultimately, there will be shortage of food, water and oxygen for humans. It is important to restore the forest ecosystems. Educate people about poaching. Let them understand the importance of animals. We need to plant more trees and make them grow naturally. Trees are the best natural ecosystem solution. Overuse of land, soil erosion, excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, farmland are converting into barren lands. Use of nitrogen in fertilizers is not only polluting water and soil, but also affects climate change. Use of organic fertilizers, rotation of crops is must so that carbon can be reclaimed in land and we can restore farmland's ecosystem. Plastics is one of the major causes in this world for soil pollution. Plastics are non-biodegradable. Use of plastic is beyond limit. Even ocean, marine life and fresh water systems are affected due to plastics. Use of cloth bags and reusable bottles may help to reduce more than 15% plastic on this earth. It's an easy and simple solution. Don't use plastic bags. Use cloth bags only. Dispose all the chocolate wrappers in dustbins only. While walking or jogging in a park in your neighborhood or on a hill, you may get lots of plastic bags, wrappers, plastic bottles. Collect them and dispose it properly. This is very simple and everyone can do it. Now, let me tell you about air pollution. Ecosystems are badly impacted by air pollution, particularly sulfur and nitrogen emissions and ground level ozone as it affects their ability to function and grow. 
emissions of both sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides deposited in water on vegetation and on soils thereby increasing their acidity with adverse effects on flora and fauna carbon emissions from vehicles is a major factor for air pollution every 9 out of 10 humans are breathing polluted air about 3.3 million deaths are caused by outer air pollution polluted air can lead to chronic respiratory disease lung cancer and other diseases as air pollution can be controlled by huge tree plantation dense vegetation absorbs pollutants through their leaves and needles and thereby help to improve air quality we can save burning of fossil fuel by minimum use of vehicles try to use public transport whenever possible plant more trees use use of vehicles and try to use bicycles whenever possible can you imagine life without water no fresh water is one of the most important part of human life too much of fishing sewage industrial waste uncontrollable population extra domestic use of water and excessive infrastructure cause the huge damage to fresh water system do you know the fact that every day 2 million tons of sewage industrial and agricultural waste are discharged into world's water bodies fresh water system is being destroyed badly there's a possibility that more than 40% of world might face water shortage in next 10 years to restore fresh water we should decrease water pollution and also moderate the consumption of fresh water should be the first priority cleaning of lakes river beds removing plastic from river beds and sewage treatment plants should be the best solution for it water is precious don't waste it one of the most degraded ecosystems in the world is the marine world which is home to millions of species of flora and fauna most of which are yet to be discovered marine pollution comes largely from land sources and is blown or deliberately dumped into the ocean large scale industrialization worldwide has had an extremely negative impact on marine biodiversity globally this impacts not just the wildlife but also economic systems around the world urgent steps need to be taken to remedy this one of the most agreeable options is large scale marine cleanup which consists of removing large amounts of plastic deposited into the oceans over the years individual efforts at reducing the use of single use plastics will also go a long way in reducing marine pollution and restoring the oceanic ecosystem we all together can change these conditions we can restore our ecosystem only if we remember three words reduce reuse and recycle we can reduce reuse and recycle plastics papers electronic wastes electricity wooden articles and all other non degradable items to make this planet sustainable for living we need to minimize the use of resources we need to use renewable energy we can do many creative things from waste and reuse them So wake up now it's time to restore our ecosystem children and youngsters like me have been started fighting to restore ecosystems a lot many hands are coming forward around the world there are some amazing movements fighting for nature lots of hands are coming forward many people already begun using natural solutions join them people have reduced the use of plastic and trying to recycle them People are taking care of forest and wildlife. People are planting trees. We need to do it on big scale. You can be part of this. Don't say what an individual can do. Every single action counts. Every single plan counts. What you do that counts. It's time to restore our ecosystem. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. This world environment day. Tell the world why it's necessary to restore the ecosystem. It's time to show our leaders why nature matters. Together or apart, we will unite to make our voices heard. We will not back down. We will not back down until we see real and lasting change. To support this beautiful planet, we call home. So tag your friends, companies, governments, and communities, and invite them to be part of this drive. 
to save this beautiful planet. Support the people who defend nature. We need the planet more than the planet needs us. Your planet, my planet. Our planet. Let's save it. So let us all join our hands together to restore the ecosystem of the earth. Share this video and talk about this. So let's unite and save this world.